Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Larry, if you're new to the channel. Um, times are changing and uh, it's not good. Like it's gonna affect the, the channel moving forward. Um, so we gotta talk about a couple things and it's not really what I wanted to bring up, but uh, I don't think I really have a choice. So we'll talk about it here in a few minutes. I got to get camp set up. I got here a lot later than I wanted to, so uh, I'm losing daylight. It's already pretty late, so we'll get camp set up. Well, there's been some sort of like weather front moving in from the west and blowing in a lot of high winds and cooler weather so that's why I got my jacket on now normally I wouldn't even need it down here being this far down in elevation in Arizona but um, sounds like I'll need it tonight at least I have plenty of firewood so I should be able to have a fire tonight last week I wasn't even able to make a fire because of the wind and it's a little windy right now, but nowhere near as bad as it was last week, so should have no problem making fire tonight. Pretty much have camp set up. I just gonna get this fire lit. At least the the wind died down though. A little bit. died down a little bit. <laughs> Hopefully I can get this lit here. You know, I heard something, uh, I don't know why this reminded me of this, but um, it's something so simple that I just never thought of. But uh, do you know that fire starts, like it, um, it starts faster when it has an edge to light? So like, let's say I had this log and it wasn't split and it was just completely round. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but it typically takes longer to start when it's a round log. But when you have them split and they have like these sharper corners on it, then uh, then that's what lights faster. Um, and it, I mean, it seems obvious. I guess I just never broke it down. I thought about it like that. I don't know. Just thought it was a cool little piece of info in case somebody out there needed it. I'm ready for this fire. I bet the temperature has dropped like 10 degrees in the last hour. So on a YouTube video, you're supposed to wait to the end to tell the bad news or the good news or whatever it is to get people to watch all the way to the end. And I'm not going to make you guys wait that long. I'm just going to say it now and get it over with so we can move on. Uh, and then you can click off if you want to, whatever. But uh, times are changing. YouTube is changing. And as, as a YouTube creator, we don't have much choice. All we can do is keep uploading videos and then just ride out all the storms. Whatever YouTube decides to do, they do. We don't get to vote on it. We don't get a say in it. We don't, nothing. Like we're just at the mercy of YouTube. Just like any other business, they're, they're trying to make money. And they came up with a pretty genius idea to do it, but unfortunately it's hurting a lot of people. Um, as a YouTube creator, your ultimate goal is to be put on that, that home screen or that suggested screen. As soon as you turn on YouTube, all those videos that pop up, that's where we wanna be. That way people click on us and then 
people watch us, if they like us, they subscribe, the, the channel grows. Um, everybody lives happily ever after. That's, that's an ideal world, right? Uh, well, unfortunately, they've changed the whole system around. And you, and you can double check what I'm saying to, to know I'm telling the truth here. But, uh, you know, with, with uh, big channels, the big channels will always be on the home screen. I don't know if it's called home screen or suggested. Whoa, hold on, wait a second. Look at that. That's one of the Starlink um, spacecrafts or whatever going up in the sky. How cool is that? It's dropping things out of the back. I guess it's the the rockets or whatever dropping off. But look at that. Look, it goes all the way over there, starts over by the sun. That's cool. Um, normally I've, I've seen them like where they drop, maybe, maybe that was over here where they, I thought they were dropping the rockets, but, um, I've seen it to where like things drop off and it makes like multiple different streams going in different directions, but it's not doing anything now. It's just fading away into the, the sky. Uh, anyways, so, uh, I don't know where I was at. Um, Big channels will always get seen on the home screen. That's just how it works. They're big time money makers for the for YouTube, so they'll always be on the home screen. And uh, I totally respect them for that. They they put in a ton of work for that, and they're good at what they do. Awesome. Um, now YouTube has started showing new channels right at the beginning. I'm sorry if I already mentioned this. Um, I'll make it as fast as I can, but. Uh, they start showing a lot of new channels on that home screen. So if you do look on the home screen next time you click on it, or next time you open it up, or next time you open up YouTube or whatever, it seems like almost a third, if not more of the videos are these new channels where um, they maybe only have 50 views on a video and they might have less than hundred subscribers or things like that. And on the surface, it seems cool. Like they're letting these new channels have their, their, their uh, day to shine or whatever and um and and years prior like when i first started uh you, you didn't get that kind of treatment um i mean i went like two and a half years before i even got to a thousand subscribers and i mean it was video after video after video posting to with like no views i thought i was just an idiot for for quitting my lifestyle that i had before to make these videos and um so many times i wanted to quit and if I was a new channel, I think that would be kind of cool to be able to put, be put in front of uh, a lot of viewers and get a lot of the views at first. But here's where it, it's not cool. Um, <laughs> the thing is, is, these new channels, they're so new that YouTube doesn't pay them. Um, they're not getting any money, even though you guys still have to sit through commercials, but they don't have to pay these, these channels. And what they're doing is getting these channels like addicted to the system, like you know somebody that's that doesn't know what's going on on the youtube platform yet they post their first couple of videos they get a ton of views and of course they're gonna go dive in head first and just start making videos and cranking them out and cranking them out because they think youtube is easy but i almost bet you about the time you get to a point where you're getting monetized they're gonna just shut those views back down and they'll put newer channels up um and and youtube is gonna make a ton of money this way and it is smart for a business to do that. I understand. I get it. It hurts a lot of creators. Um, like I was this close to just doing YouTube full time. Uh, I have this job that I've been working on. I'm almost done. And this entire time I'm thinking to myself, like, uh, after this job is over, I'm just going to full time YouTube. Like, I, I'm just going to dive in and I'm just going to make it happen and devote all my time to these videos. And that was my plan. But over the last six, eight weeks, um, views have declined and I've talked to other channels and they're, they're all across the board, the same thing. Views have been tanking. Um, they're not getting seen as much. Our, obviously our paychecks are dropping 
a, a lot. I mean, mine has almost dropped almost in half than what it has been getting, what I have been getting paid. It's almost in half. And, uh, and now it's to the point to where it's like, well, that just set me back. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do moving forward. I don't know if, if I can just dive in and do it full time now, I might have to just keep going down this road of working as much as I can and trying to get these videos out until the channel grows more. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm asking now as a favor for not only my channel, but anybody else's channel. If you like a channel, please hit that subscribe button. And then even one step closer to that, because now, even if you're subscribed to a channel, if you skip a week, they won't push it back up onto the home screen again the next week that that, that person posts a video. They still don't do it. You have to hit that notification bell. Um, and the notification bell is right next to the subscribe button. I think it's, I think it might even look like the same button. There's a little bell next to it. But if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, then no matter what, let's say I'm sick one week or you're on vacation and you miss, miss one of my videos or something like that. Then the next time I post a video, it will alert you that the video is up and not just mine, but anybody else's like go back and find other channels that you like and do the same thing. Hit that notification bell. This is more important than ever. Uh, anyways, I think it's going to be time to make a little bit of dinner. I'm, I'm hungry. So, um, let's do that. So since I'm not allowed to have carbs on my diet, um, I want to make mashed potatoes with dinner. So that's riced cauliflower and I'm going to do my best to turn those into mashed potatoes. And, um, yeah. Hopefully that won't take long and then we'll get out on the grill and start cooking. I'm going to make uh, pork loin chops. They're on sale. So we'll see how those turn out. And that's almost done. I had a recipe for this, but I don't know where it went. So I'm just gonna wing it. It's not gonna be that hard though. Just gonna throw some bits of butter in there, maybe about a, t a tablespoon or two. Throw a little heavy whipping cream in there. I don't know, we'll just start with that. I came thoroughly unprepared. I don't even have like a potato smasher thing. So I'm just gonna use this wooden spoon. Might not even work very well. You ever thought about getting stainless steel bowls? Make sure you have some plastic ones as well because adding all these cold ingredients in there, it's going to need rewarmed back up and I cannot microwave anything because all my stuff is stainless. And I usually have some uh, Tupperware in here, but I guess I took it out to wash or something. And, or I don't know what, why I took, I don't know. I just not in here anymore. Mm. Yeah, it seems like even smashing it's just not smashing it. I don't know. All right, whatever. I give up. I'm making enough of a mess. It's not doing anything. That's the saddest excuse for mashed potatoes I've ever seen. That's all right. I'm just gonna transfer it onto a paper plate, microwave it here in a minute. But I'll do that when I come back in. I'm gonna just go ahead and get the meat cooked out there on the grill. I don't normally cook pork chops, so uh, I don't even know what to put on them. At this point, I don't care. I'm not, just hungry, so just cooking them. I'll put a little barbecue sauce on them later or something. So I don't normally cook pork chops because I can never seem to get them to the right temperature. But uh, Ambrosia Donuts sent this meat thermometer. So I'll be able to check the to, uh, the temperature of the meat and, and then hopefully just pull it off at the right time so I don't get them too dried out. So thank you Ambrosia Donuts. They've been sending a ton of stuff here lately. Um, I don't know the name of the person who sent them. Or why, but um, I'm guessing they're just fans of the show, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for this. Let's 
see where we're at here. One forty five, I think we're already up too high. <laughs> One fifty. Yeah, I've already overcooked them. Look at that. This one's not too bad. All right, time to pull them off. I would have never guessed that they were done, so maybe that's why every time I cook them, they're always all dried out. All right, let's go eat. I know this isn't like the world's best barbecue sauce, but this Ray's barbecue sauce, they have this no sugar added. Um, and I mean, it's, I'm sure it's got artificial flavors or artificial sweeteners in it, which probably isn't good for you either, but um, what can you do nowadays? Nothing's, <laughs> nothing's all that good for you to eat, it seems like. All right, let's try these mashed potatoes. Tastes like cauliflower with cheese in it. So that was kind of a bust. Um, somebody told me in the the uh, Facebook group, if you guys don't know, and I'll put it down here at the bottom of the screen, but there's a Facebook group. Somebody had mentioned that I should make like a, a cookbook, but the person will probably change their mind after seeing this video. <laughs> but uh, let's see what the pork tastes like at least. It's good. It's uh, a lot better than what I normally cook. So I guess I've just been overcooking it all these years. I do have a couple more gifts. Hopefully you guys aren't tired of seeing these yet. Um, so Bear and Mimi sent these pepperoni treats and these jerky cut treats for Mason. So he's gonna be set now for, for treats. Um, thank you very much for that. I know he's gonna love all these. Um, he's, <laughs> he's not even gonna know what to do. He's just gonna have so many treats now. It's so, so good. I mean, I, he loves them. So thank you very much. Um, and then Ambrosia Donuts also sent this, um, sharp ball, like knife sharpener. I haven't even really checked this out yet, but, um, it looks like yeah, it looks like it has a suction cup to it. Man, that'll, <laughs> that's going to take the finish off the table. But um, it's got a couple different settings here. So there's um, the carbide side right here for like, nope, I'm sorry, ceramic. This is for fine honing. And then the carbide is for coarse honing, honing, horning. I am like having such an off night, guys. I am so sorry. Um, <laughs> there's so many times I've just wanted to bail on this video and just go and lay down and go to sleep. I'm just exhausted. I'm so sorry guys. Um, but thank you Ambrosia Donuts so much for this. Um, all my knives need sharpened so bad and it kind of looks like here. There's also a, a, uh, a thing to sharpen scissors. I'm gonna have to read the instructions on how that works, but, um, I do have a knife on me. And it's it's pretty rough so let's just uh give it a couple swipes the tip is really bad there wow that actually does well that cleans it up pretty good <laughs> wow Man, that was just a couple swipes. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. I need to go through all my knives and get those sharpened back up. Um, that's cool. <laughs> and then, uh, what else we got? Um, this is from Asher and it's a life bivy. I'm not going to open it up because I, well, maybe I'll open it up at least this part. I assume, well, it comes in a little bag. I'm not going to open a bag, but um, in case you're wondering, a life bivy 
is basically like a um, survival blanket type thing. It's saying like an all-in-one. It's a, a shelter slash sleeping bag. There's also paracord, a survival whistle, um, tender to start a fire, and reflective bag signals for rescue workers. So it's a little bit of everything in there. Um, and then with it being one of those like it's kind of like an aluminum foil blanket, I think. Yeah, fair enough. It's like, it's almost like it's got the, I don't know. It's not aluminum foil, but it's, it kind of just looks like aluminum foil, but, um, it's very thin, almost like a trash bag or aluminum foil. But, um, but when you put it on you, it just holds all your body heat. Um, what does it say here? 90% of your body heat, it reflects back down at you. So um, it keeps you warm in an emergency. And this is going to be awesome in the Geo Tracker as well. So thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, anyways, you guys rock. I mean, like, I just, I can't believe this stuff you guys send. It's so awesome. Um, I do, I just really appreciate it, guys. I, I really do. Good morning. Um, just making some coffee. I got the fire lit outside. I'm going to go enjoy my coffee outside by the fire. But uh, I found something out uh, last night. I um, gave Mason one of those jerky treats and he just devoured it. In fact, uh, I'm, I just gave him one this morning. I kind of broke it in little pieces. Check this out. Like that, buddy? <laughs> He loves those things. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it just it makes me happy to see him happy, so thank you guys so much. Well, you can tell it's spring, you can hear the birds chirping this morning. It's so nice. It's one of those things that you don't notice until you, until you notice it. Like, I mean, I know that sounds dumb, but like, a lot of times during the winter, you don't really hear the birds as much, or maybe I'm just, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe they are out every morning, but I'm just not out here. I don't know, who knows? It doesn't matter. Anyways, it's so nice out right now, and I love that the birds are chirping. I don't know today's a new day i feel so much better um i apologize for yesterday i just wasn't having a good day and uh that's okay i mean even even days like yesterday i feel like happened for a reason um maybe i wasn't on the right path that i was supposed to be heading down or whatever and and yesterday was a big speed bump to to get me to stop and look in another direction or, or whatever who knows maybe I don't know who knows but uh it's not the end of the world today is already so much nicer i can't wait um just see what the day brings you know i'm gonna make some eggs this morning on the grill i just thought it'd be nice to cook out here and um usually cooking on a grill doesn't isn't the best thing it, it kind of sometimes takes longer but that's okay i'm gonna start with a little bit of bacon Staple of every good morning breakfast, at least for me. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. Let me turn you upside down. I actually got this thing for eight dollars and ninety nine cents. This grill, I got it at a thrift store, and uh, I love this thing. It's like Thermos brand. I don't know how old it is. I'm, sh I'm sure it's from the eighties or nineties, but uh, I just I love it. <laughs> And it works so good. Okay. I think that's done enough. It's not extra, extra crispy, but that's all right. <laughs> 
Now for the eggs, I already kind of pre-mix it up, put some uh, whole cream in there, mixed it up, and some slap your mama seasoning and just some salt. Shoot, might even make this into an omelet. We'll see. I still gotta go get some cheese. <laughs> Uh, I got the uh, couple windows open and the door open in the camper and Mason's up there at 72 last time I checked in there up where he's at so he's just loving it he's looking out the windows and um, I let him out earlier the problem is uh, I was gonna take him for a run this morning and I still might and maybe run and go this direction but earlier coming from this direction there was um, some white boxes I saw from a distance, and I wasn't sure what it was until I drove by, but um, it looks like they're trying to maybe reintroduce some bees in this area or um, or collect bees from the area. I don't really know, but there's like they look like those bee boxes that bees live in, and they're, they're just right here down the road. So I definitely don't want to be taking Mason for a run down there and end up having a bunch of bees after us so not gonna do that <laughs> like i said though we might go this direction we'll see it's just so nice and and i know he loves doing these runs we'll see if we can get a, a flip done here with this little rinky dink spatula ah almost perfect a little messy. It's all right though. I think we're gonna throw a little bit of bacon in there. And I do have a little secret ingredient I'm gonna add here in just a second. First, gotta get some cheese in there. This is not the secret ingredient. <laughs> Hear me out. I know it sounds crazy. Honey mustard. I don't know if you've ever had honey mustard on eggs. The trick is not to get too much. Just just enough few drizzles to get a taste in there. Oh man, it tastes so good. Of course, this is that that made by that raised no sugar added. Um, I've really been hunting down sauces and stuff with no sugar just because I'm so tired of just no flavoring and anything. Because <laughs> without the sauces, my only flavoring I get and stuff is like bacon grease flavoring. That's it. Now let's get this thing flipped over so I can start heating that cheese up. Ooh, yeah. Almost done. That's what bacon's for, right? Just snack on while you're waiting for the food to get done. <laughs> I abandoned the grill idea. I think I'm running out of propane. It was just creeping along. Oh yeah, that's cooking a lot faster. In fact, that's already almost, that's overdone right there. <laughs> we'll just leave it on this other side for just a minute and then uh, should be done. Mm. Got that little bit of honey mustard in there, so good. I mean, is there anything really better than eating bacon and eggs that were made on a fire uh, outside while you're camping? I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. I don't know. So, as I'm sure a lot of you guys might know, like I've always, I've always loved looking into like mental health. I feel like. Most people should because there's so many things in mental health that um, that people just don't know, you know. Um, they think they're alone because they have these weird thoughts or whatever, and and they're not. If, uh, you know, people would just, uh, if most people would just kind of learn about mental health, I, I feel like most people would be happier. But, um, for instance, one thing is there's always highs and lows um, in life, obviously, but... Um, have you ever noticed that like when you, let's say you go to the bar or, um, whatever you like to do, I don't know, um, 
a concert or a birthday party with family or Christmas or something like when there's always when there's something really exciting that you're you're looking forward to and while you're there it's exciting and you're having a great time have you ever noticed that almost immediately afterwards you get in like this down mood and uh that's just you know it's i don't know what they call it but it, it is normal for that to happen those swings like that it's just I guess, i'm guessing your dopamine levels are just dropping but it also works the other way. So like yesterday, I just, I was having a, a bad day. And I think that's just why today just seems so much better. Um, maybe it's just a mindset thing, but um, I know it does have a lot to do with your dopamine levels, but that's all right. I'm going to ride this today while I can. I just, I love it, man. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. I just keep repeating myself. So I'll just shut up. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so uh, a couple of things that I had forgot. Well, not, I didn't forget. I didn't show you guys last night, but um, somebody sent me some tool bags, which are the coolest things ever. Um, this one is kind of meant for just hand tools. Whoops, that one's kind of falling out. But just for like hand tools and stuff, you throw them in there, and then you can wrap them up, and they just it works good when you do a lot of like off-roading because then you don't hear this stuff chiming around in the back of your SUV or truck or whatever. Um, plus this is just nice and compact. You can lay it out on a table. You got all your tools ready to go. Uh, there's another one here. Hang on, I got it. Here is the matching tool bag. Let me model it for you. <laughs> the matching tool bag. And uh, it's so cool. Like, I've already been using it. I hope I'm in frame here. <laughs> I've already been using it um, every day at work. And I just love it. It's so nice just be able to like, I used to carry like a five gallon bucket full of everything. And it was just a, a mess. I could never find anything. And it was just hard to carry. So whoever sent this, thank you so much. Um, hopefully you can let me know in an email or something who it is because like I said the box was open so there was no like from tag so I have no clue who this was from um, yeah one more thing so yeah during my uh, my review or not my review my tour video of the RV um, I had kind of jokingly said it would be cool if torque lift would send me um, a set of fast guns because I've always wanted them so long and I just I I they weren't in my budget, so I was just dealing with the old busted turnbuckle things that I had before. And um, a good friend of mine, Jerry, saw that video, and then he knows somebody at Torque Lift, so he put in a good word, and I'm so glad he did. Thank you, Jerry, and thank you, Torque Lift, because Torque Lift went ahead and sent me a new set of fast guns, and they've been on a couple weeks. I've been... Um, I don't I don't like to just grab a product and then go and spout out how much I love it just because I, I got it two days ago. I'd like to kind of use it a little bit and, and know what it's like before I go and say how awesome they are. But these things are legitimately awesome. Um, no wonder everybody loves them. They're just so much easier. I mean, the old turnbuckles, I would have to like twist them. And it was, I used to count <laughs> like 25 to 30 twists to get them loose enough to be able to unhook it from the camper. And you times that by four and you times it by how many times you had to do it for taking the camper on and off. And it just, it was getting really old. And not to mention the threads would get caked up with dirt and they were just so hard sometimes to unscrew. So with these, let me see if I can get you in there. Just pop this pin out, which you could put a lock in here and I'm going to put a lock in here. And then uh, I just haven't done it yet. And then you just pop this handle up and they just come out I think like just like that so fast kind of like a fast gun i wonder where they came with the name i don't know <laughs> i don't know uh i just i'm just you guys are awesome man thank you so much thank you jerry thank you fast guns thank you everybody you guys i just still i can't believe how fortunate i am to have just amazing subscribers like you guys and and um i don't know I just, I wish there was a way I could pay you back other than just making these videos. We'll figure something out maybe someday, uh, maybe a big giveaway or something. We'll figure something out. But, uh, 
Anyways, yeah. Buddy, you ready to go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Huh? Yeah? No? You don't wanna go? No? You don't wanna go for a walk, do you? It's it's a horrible day outside. Yeah, all right, let's just sit in here. <laughs> I'm kidding, let's go for a walk. <laughs> all right, bud, you ready? Let's go this way. Let's go away from the bees, come on. Let's go this way. You ready to run? You ready? Hold on, let me get over here. All right, let's go. <laughs> you don't feel like running this morning, huh, but you just want to mark everything. He's very familiar with this area. We've camped here quite a few times, so he's got his spots he needs to mark just to check up on things. He doesn't have an actual yard. What do you smell, bud? Oh, you smell another spot you gotta go mark, huh? <laughs> That's the thing with living in an RV, you know? <laughs> the dog doesn't have his actual yard to, to maintain and mark and, and have his little territory, I think is the right word I'm trying to use. So when I bring him back to spots like this, I think he just really likes it. Give him something to do, check up on things, see what happened since the last time we were here. Oh, oh, you're getting all excited now. You wanna play? <laughs> huh? You wanna play? Wait, yeah. <laughs> I can't run through there like you can, buddy. <laughs> Oh, everything's got thorns on it. You guys want to see something cool? You see this line right here? Goes this direction. Goes down into there. A lot of animals, including cows, will just keep following the same paths. They make like little trails, little highways or whatever, and... I guess that's how they know where they're going. They don't have GPS or maps, so they just follow their own little trails and, and uh, they stick right to them. Mason and I have just been hanging out in this field. Um, it's just nice, perfect. Cannot ask for a better day. And he's just loving walking around, smelling everything. And I'm just enjoying the peace and quiet. And I don't know. I just love it. It's nice here. All right, well, back on the road heading out. Um, appreciate you guys hanging out this long and uh, I cannot wait to see you guys next week. So uh, thanks again. Man, I cannot, I, don't, I think I forgot what my outro was. I don't, I don't know. Until next time, I'll see you guys then. You know, I, th I think I'm need to come up with something a little snazzier than that. So <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks, bye.